What's up? Welcome to Drop It Like a Scott, your home for gun range, gun reviews, and encouraging thoughts. And today I want to go over a few of my favorite pistols. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up and share this out if you like the content. All right, so we're gonna go through, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, got eight of my favorite pistols here and I wanna go over them with you real quick so you can see what Drop It Like a Scott likes for pistols. All right, we're gonna start with 22 caliber. This is the Ruger SR22, 22 caliber. It is unloaded. I do like this pistol in the 22 caliber. It does have a safety on this side, ambidextrous safety on both sides. Mag release is on the left side of the firearm. Chamber to 22. I do like this gun a lot. This is pretty cool. The sights on there are adjustable. They are just basic white sights on here. That's about it. Super simple, super easy, the Ruger SR22. Next on the list is the Springfield Armory XD9. This is one that I have carried for a little over 10 years. And again, unloaded, nothing in the chamber. It does have a grip safety on there, which I like that a lot. If you don't grip this thing properly, it will not fire. It also has a trigger safety. It is only slide release on the left side of the gun. It is not ambidextrous. There's no way to release the slide. You have to do it on the right side of the gun. This is the Springfield Armory XD9. Next up on the docket is my everyday carry, which is none other than the Canik TP9 Elite Subcompact. This is ambidextrous slide release on both sides. This has a trigger safety on here. That is the only safety. Remember, this is your safety. The Canik TP9 Elite Subcompact. It has a chamber indicator, chamber indicator on the top here. So if it is chambered, you will see that little notch right there stand up. You ask, hey Scott, what kind of ammunition do you use for your everyday carry? I use the extremely lightweight civil defense ammo. Doesn't add much weight to the actual gun. Next up on the list is the newest member of the Drop It arsenal, is the Canik Elite Combat Executive. And this is also ambidextrous slide release with the Salient Arms Gold Barrel. It does need to be cleaned because I took it shooting recently. And this is a fantastic shooter. And along with the uh, subcompact, it is pre-cut for your armor sight. Oversized mag release, oversized magwell, suppressor ready, fiber optics on the front, and blacked out steel sights on the back. Next up on the list is the big brother to the executive combat. It is the Canik TP9 SFX. Again, pre-cut for your RMR. And this is only a mag release on the left side of the gun. Trigger safety on the trigger as well as a fiber optics on the front and worn dovetail blacked out sights. This does have some portions of the slide removed for less recoil, and this is classified as a very inexpensive race gun. This is the Canik TP9 SFX, one of my all time favorite firearms. Next up on the list is a little bit of a different kind of a pistol. Some of you might like this one, some of you may not like this. Ruger has one out that's kind of like it, but this is the FN57, chambered in 57 by 28. And this one does have a safety on the side, ambidextrous safety, and the mag release is only on the left side of the pistol. This has basic white sights, which are raised for the top and for the bottom, white sights on the front, and this has a laser on it as well. This is one of the coolest guns. Let me show you what the rounds look like. They look like a little rifle round. It's the FN 57 by 28. And next up on the docket is the twin brother to the FN 57 desert tan color is the FN 57 all black. Again, this has the safety, ambidextrous safety here with the slide release only on the back on the uh, left side of the gun. Same sights as the Desert Tan and slide release is on the left side. It does, both of them have a Picatinny rail on there to where you can add fixtures such as a laser or whatever you uh, whatever else you wanna put on there. And last but not least, for one of my favorite pistols, none other than the Chiapo Rhino 357 Magnum. This thing is cool. It is a six shot cylinder. 
inside of a 357 Magnum with the barrel on the bottom, fiber optics on the top, and fiber optics on the back side. The release is right here on the side. That way you can release the cylinder, drop the cylinder down, and this bad boy needs to be cleaned because this one was just shot recently too. So now you've seen my top eight favorite pistols, but what do you use to carry them? That's a good question. Red X gear holsters. Red X gear holsters, they make custom holsters. This one is for my TP9 SFX and locks in. And this is my outside the waistband carry for my TP9 SFX. Now for my Springfield Armory XD9, I use the Second Amendment Gunworks holster. Second Amendment Gunworks made this holster for me for my Springfield Armory XD9. So go check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below for this Second Amendment Gunworks holster as well as for the Red X gear holster. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is Drop It Like It's Scott's Favorite Pistols. All right, here's your word of encouragement for today. It comes out of Psalms 27 verse one. It says this, light, space, zest, that's God. So with him on my side, I am fearless, afraid of no one and afraid of nothing. With God on your side, you got nothing to fear. Hey, thanks for watching Drop It Like It, Scott. Remember, don't forget to hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that share. And remember, we are trying to push towards 5,000 subscribers before the end of the year, and I can count on you to help make that happen. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day. Enjoy the journey. Till next time. One Nation Coffee. Go to onenationcoffee.com. When you support One Nation Coffee, One Nation Coffee supports Drop It Like It's Scott discount code DROPIT, 10% off your purchase.